God used it for his glory. Am I right? Or you know someone? And um, so we, we know that we've all sinned, every one of us in here. And Romans 3.23 says, For we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If you haven't acknowledged that in your life, you need to do that today. God is waiting for you to call on him. He, um, he, he has forgiveness for you. And if you believe that he died on the cross for your sins, that's your past, present, and future sins. And um, if you do that today, then you'll have peace knowing that he is yours and you are his. And I want all of the women here to remember that your identity in Christ, your identity is in Christ and not this world, okay? Your identity is not your name or who you're married to, your kids, where you live, what you drive, how much money you have. That's not where your identity is. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, your identity is in him. And that means that your father is a king, the king of all kings. And what does that make you? A princess. You have royal blood running through your veins. You are an heir to the throne. You are completely forgiven. You are holy, righteous, and redeemed. You have been bought with a price, and you belong to God. You are a child of God. Thank you. I hope that's We take donations um, for, you know, like little gifts that we put in their bags, such as the plug. And I have one more plug, one more plug, Anita Rumpro. Okay, and does everyone know Anita Rumpro? She's a comedian. Oh, she's great. If you don't know her, YouTube it. She's coming to the high school, and um, I have tickets out here that I'm selling. And St. Louis has tickets, too, and I gave them. But um, we have some. So it's October 16th at 7 o'clock at the high school. You don't want to miss it. It's really, she's really fun. We thank you, and if I can just say a quick prayer. Um, if you'd like one of Joyce's books, they're out front. Um, and again, if you would like any information about what we do or you're looking to volunteer, we can always use help at the office. Let me um, close this in prayer. Lord, I thank you for today. Lord, I thank you for these women's heart again. Lord, I just ask you to give them an extra blessing and an extra dose of grace and your love today. Let them feel your joy in a way that they've never felt it before. Give them peace, comfort, and give them safety as they leave here today. In your name I 